Let's take a look at the code that you can add to individual elements and how to do that. In the lecture, we have talked about how you can add code to the timeline, and we've also talked about how to add that to elements. So let's pick an element here and add something just for fun so you can get, get a little bit more familiar with the process. I've clicked the curly braces there on the left-hand side, and now it's prompting me to choose an event. So let's, let's say that this is a mouse over because we want our navigation thing items up here to, um, to capture that event as the mouse moves into that shaded territory for a particular button. So click mouse over. Now I'm going to move this up just a little bit, and I'm going to tell you about a little extra something over here in the options area. Go to the options, you've got some things here. You can show line numbers, you can include the snippet comments, which are fabulous for beginners. It just helps you, it just lets you know what the function is all about that you're adding. I'm also going to change my font size. I'm going to make this large so that you can better see this on your screens at home. Okay, so I have my mouse over event inserted into the code here. And I want to say, I want to be able to jump from this point, which I have a label set up, to this point, which is a separate label. This is home underscore two underscore about. And this one is about underscore two underscore home. So when they mouse over, let's jump. We want to play from a particular a particular label and then stop so you can set the time code here 1000 is equal to one second so if you want to do it by seconds you can do that but I find that it's so much easier to do it by those labels because I don't have to do my math and figure that stuff out whenever you use labels make sure that you include the include it inside of quotation marks those of you that haven't had any kind of job, JavaScript yet, you aren't familiar with that. Uh, this is what they call a string. Strings are always enclosed by quotation marks inside of the JavaScript language. So, there you go. Now, whenever the mouse over event happens, whatever I set this on, I, I wasn't paying attention, this is just for pretend. Whatever was set on when that, when that mouse moves into that spot. Now, if you have mistakenly um, put this in some place and you don't want it there, all you have to do is just click the minus button. And it'll take it right off for you and close it back. So that's just an example of how to add code at specific places using those event handlers.